Hi guys, May Flom here, and I'm super excited today because today I'm introducing you to one of my newest bottle mixes of embellishments from my 28 Lilac Lane line. This is Coral Reef, and I'm really excited about this one for a couple reasons. Number one, look at the beautiful little striped sequins. They're little aqua striped sequins, and I've got little corally beads and teeny tiny iridescent sequins, and of course all the usual pearls and buttons and fun love this mix and i love it for a couple of different things i've had people already say to me they want to use it for non-traditional christmas colors you know i know coral and aqua sometimes show up in that and that absolutely so much fun for bright tropical things for summer things and they come in just one of these bottles like so what I want to do to just today is I've got this card that I've been building. This is an image that I just watercolored. Anything you've got would work. Any stamped image you've got would work. And I mounted it onto a piece of cardstock here. Now I like to do this before I mount onto an actual card, only because then if I make any messes or in this example, there's stitching on the back, if there's gonna be stitching showing through, I'd prefer to cover that up. So what I wanna share with you in this video today, besides my excitement for this new bottle that's now shipping to retailers, I wanted to share with you that how do I take the, something like this and add in dimension? How am I picking and choosing what and where to add? Well, for me, it depends on the image. In this particular example, what I think would work really well, I'm going to need to have a sentiment of some sort. I want some kind of hello, hi, or, or an encouraging note of some kind. But I'm thinking across the bottom here, across the bottom of the vase, and I believe that that's going to help me establish where I want like a line or a couple of clusters of embellishments. I think one of these Tim Holtz phrase stickers will work really well. Anything you wanted to use would work though if you wanted to stamp or use alphabet stickers, whatever you've got. I just think this will be great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it. First, I'm going to put, just because of what we're going to do, I find this works really well. I'm going to put a little bit of PPA, which is my liquid adhesive of choice. I'm going to put just a little bit on the back here to make sure it stays extra, extra sticky. And I'm going to place it just slightly off to the side here. And why would I add PPA? Well, in this case, because I'm going over multiple surfaces, and I'm going to be doing a lot with it. I want to make sure it's really, really stuck down there. So I put it slightly off to the side for a couple reasons. Number one, I want to leave a little space here and I want to create kind of a little zone, if you will, that I could maybe put a few little embellishments over here. Now, what I love about these, these are all small to, me, to, small to medium buttons. There's no big buttons. And for me, for my card making, that's the way I want it. Now, of course, you could do anything you want with these embellishment mixes, but it really helps, in my opinion, that there, there's nothing too, too huge in here. So I'm going to start with a little coral one because I'm going onto this color paper, so I don't want to use a similar colored button. And I'm just going to make myself a little cluster to start with. Okay, we're going to use this little spot because this is where we are basing, you know, this is where this, the end of the sentiment is, kind of goes up to the edge of the card. So that's what I'm going to use to start. And I'm going to use a couple of sequins, a couple of pearls, a couple of beads. I love these little tiny beads because they fill, especially if you want to cluster your embellishments, nothing will fill in better than those little seed beads. And of course, now we've got these little tiny sequins in here as well. And all of this stuff is color coordinated, which means I don't really have to worry about exact colors or you know, if it's going to work or if it's not going to work, I don't have to worry about any of that because it's already color coordinated for me. So I just love that. I have so much fun with these mixes and I think you're going to have such a great time creating with them. So I don't want to go too crazy. I don't want to create a really huge cluster because I have such a big, strong stamped image. I don't want to do anything to take away from that. And so I'm going to add a couple more little sequins and a couple more beads. You might notice I'm working here in a dish. I really like to work from a dish or a little something so that I can pour out my embellishments, work with them, and then I can always pour them back into the bottle and put them away for later use. But let's
let's look at this. Well, first of all, I want to add one or two more tiny things down here just because the cluster feels a little bit uneven. So I think for me, that will be one little, one little sequin. I'll push that into place and then one or I think just one little bead. Okay, so sequin and a bead. And remember that adhesive that I use, it will dry completely clear. But now that that's done, I don't want to just leave that. So where else would I put stuff? Well, me, I'm thinking because of the flow of this, because I have it over here, I'm thinking a little bit along this side over here would be really nice. And I'm not talking about a lot. In fact, I, I would start with just a little sprinkling here, maybe a little bit onto there. But I definitely want this to shine. And because I don't want anything too heavy over here, I'm going to avoid the buttons over here. They're a little bigger than what I would want or heavier visually, if that makes sense. There are some tiny little buttons in here like this one, but it's going to be a little bigger and a little heavier visually than what I want. So no problem. So we leave it where it's at and we just stick to the teeny tiny details and buttons, beads, sequins, all that fun stuff that we've got here in this mix. And I can mix it up. You know, I can do just the little ones. I can do some big ones. It's going to kind of depend on your mood, your project, your stamped image, all of that. And how far down do I want to go? I don't think I want to go down much farther. But what I do think I want to I want to add in here, and this is strictly a contrast thing. I'm a really big fan of strong contrast. So, for example, we've got the coral and all the aqua type colors. But I've also got that black stitching in the bright white. I'm going to bring in just a little bit of gold. This is just some stickles, glitter glue. This happens to be platinum. You could use any, any glitter glue you want. You could also skip this step. I just want to add a little bit of glitter glue in here because I feel like sometimes it adds even another layer of detail, of dimension, and just helps me bring it all together. Okay, so I'm just going to put a couple little drops here and there. Not a lot. And then after I do that, I'll stand back and look and see if I want to add a few more sequins, if I want to add any other details, maybe a couple of beads, maybe a couple more beads for a little more dimension, whatever it might be. There might be just a few more things that I want to work in here and include. Those are the things I'm going to be looking at. So... I think we're pretty well off here though. I really like how this is going and I'm really happy with it overall because nothing is, you know, nothing is too lumpy. This is an easily a card to mail or to hand deliver. Maybe there's somebody special. So there you go. There you have it. There's just one way that I'm adding some of the embellishments from 28 Lilac Lane Line into my card making. For even more videos, of course, they're on my YouTube channel. You will find many, many videos as well as over on my website. I wish you very happy crafting. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.